This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. U.S. Senator Jeff Flake is set to give his farewell address on the Senate floor today. He's stepping down after serving one term. Democrat Kirsten Sinema will take his spot. Flake's speech is scheduled for 9 a.m. this morning, Arizona time. You can watch it on KGUN9.com. Pima County officials are holding an open house today to talk about a proposed trail system north of the Tucson Estates area. The proposal is meant to create shorter distances and be easier to manage. The open house will be from 4.30 to 6.30 at the Pima County Natural Resources Parks and Recreation Department. A monument to Pancho Villa will stay put in downtown after another failed attempt to have it removed. The national group Judicial Watch asked the Arts Foundation to take the statue down, claiming the public did not want it there. The bronze statue was given to the state of Arizona in 1981. The Pima Animal Care Center continues seeing dogs and cats come through their adoption hall, but they're also seeing more in their clinic. Nine on your side's Veronica Costa joins us now with more. Good morning, Veronica. Hey, good morning, Mark Whitney. Dogs with casts are left and right inside of the pack clinic this time of the year. As of yesterday afternoon, PAC had eight dogs in the intensive care unit who were recovering from a broken leg. One dog was actually recovering from an amputation. Now, PAC officials say this is more than they typically see, and they're still trying to pinpoint the exact reason for the increase they say they typically see in both December and January. Now, once those eight dogs recover, they'll be placed in the adoption hall ready to find a home. Mark Whitney. All right, Veronica, thanks so much. Why don't we check in with April now? She's got a look at our forecast. Hey, April, what's going on? Well, we have officially hit the 30s, 39 at the airport and here on the east side. So grab that coat as you head out the door. It's going to be a cooler day as well. Not only are we seeing mostly clear skies and calm winds, uh, but we are also seeing a little bit of a cold front swinging through, and that's why we're only going to make it to the low 60s, if that. We will rebound as our uh, clouds increase, though, moving into the weekend. We'll get to those upper 60s to near 70. We'll also see a very slight chance for rain Sunday and Monday into Tuesday morning. Thank you so much, April. For more news and weather updates all throughout the day, you can go to our website, kegan9.com, and follow us on social media.